we're talking about the cats. And we are their talking travel, about the cats. Their traveling adventures. Our travel cats. Yeah. I want to see if they'll come over. Come here. Yeah. He's like, I don't trust us. Here's the one. This is Paxton. Come here, Pedro. Everybody, this Ooh. is Pedro. <laughs> What's up? We travel as a married couple. Yes, we do. <laughs> and a lot of times, our cats come with. Uh -huh. I would say except for international trips and quick weekend trips where we fly, yeah, the cats do come with. That's very true. Okay. They're always with us. Yeah, they're always with us. And when we travel for our job as traveling physical therapists, they obviously... Stay at home. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I got confused. So, since we have these lovely cats that travel, most people do ask, how do you travel with your cats? Because mm -hmm. I don't think cats are really known for traveling. No. So, we have a blog post about it. Check and it out. Check it out. In the comments below. <laughs> So we decided it was time to make a video. Mm -hmm. I personally say we start at the beginning. Okay. Pedro and Paxson, I got them when they were four <laughs> weeks old. Six, six weeks old. <laughs> Too far at the beginning. Too, okay. Too, Too far, far back. Go further forward. When we lived in Ohio, yeah. we graduated from PT school and we started traveling physical therapy right away. So as soon as we graduated, we drove mm -hmm. all the way from Ohio. Boop, 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 boop. All the way to Santa Fe, New Mexico. That was actually very impressive map work by her. I did yeah. not expect that to be that accurate. We looked up a bunch of stuff online, like how to travel with cats. Mm -hmm. And what did the internet say? Do you remember? Don't. Yeah. Don't that's do it. That's exactly what so it said. I think it's fair advice. But that wasn't really an option because there are little fur babies. So we were like, well, we're going to do it anyway. So then we looked up like at least ways to make it better. And... That was really funny because some people said to buy this spray. It's called Feline, Feel Away, Feline Spray. It's Feel Away. Feel Away the Spray. The brand is Feel Away. Feel Away. Like F E L I Way. And it's a pheromone spray? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we tried. Oh, by the way, we tested it all out. Like the week leading up to the trip, we just took them on random, like little spurts. Well, they had to go to the bath. Yeah, they had to go to the bath and blah, blah, blah. So did the spray work? It did, but it also put us to sleep. It put us to sleep. We were super so tired. So that wasn't ideal. That didn't work. So that was like one of our fails. But other things that did work really well, we did we do buy calming treats that we give to them. Mm -hmm. Those work well. Yeah. And then what's probably the biggest thing you think that works the best? Um, I don't know. We put all their toys in there with them. We put their bed in there with them. We put the blanket in there with them. And where? In their crate. <laughs> that, okay. If we told everybody one thing to do with traveling with cats, get them a gigantic. Yeah, it has to be big. Crate. Yeah. Like, we're talking, ours is so big, they can stand up, they can walk around in it, they can both nap and not be touching, although they still choose to be touching. That mm -hmm. is the biggest thing. If you give them a little space and feels right, we fill it with their bed, their pillows, blankets, toys. Sometimes we even cover up the crate with a blanket and that True. puts them right to sleep. True. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is just make sure you have a big crate. Big crate. So it gives them lots of space. Mm -hmm. We started with like a big um, plastic crate. It was really heavy. And then... We and bulky. Have, and bulky. Which is not our style. And it's not easy to store. And then we found our new crate, which we highly suggest anybody get. want to... Oh, look what's right here. Oh, look what we have here. This is our crate. How cool is this? It's foldable. This is how big it is. It's small. But it becomes I'm like a little nervous large. For you to do this. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, it's upside down. <laughs> look at that. Lots of room for kitties. Yep. And then, do you want me to fold it back up? No, I can. Well, let's see. Oh, oh, I did it. Look at that. So, like, this crate is a minimalist's dream because it folds up and then, boom, it's, like, just in the corner. Yep. So, and then this is another side note. I, you wanted a crate 
because you were worried the cats were going to like F, F stuff up around the car, right? Yeah, like, or you were they'd worried, like, you know, get under the gas pedal. Yeah, they get under the gas pedal, pedal or whatever. You know, like... I really wanted a crate because I had heard a story it's a true story of someone that had gotten into a car accident and unfortunately the the animal in the car did pass away because of the momentum that their body went through on impact and i know that sounds really sad but i think it's very important because i see a lot of people where their cats are just like in their car and like i get it like you do you but maybe consider a crate it can be dicey yeah, because if they're, I mean, accidents happen. That's why they're called accidents. And if if it does happen, then at least your animal can only go so far. Mm-hmm. And then that's another reason why we really like this crate is because it's soft. And so it's, it's I don't know, just it's put your... It's malleable. It's malleable. Put your animal on a crate, please. You don't want to get in a car crash and you look over and old Fluffy's going flying past <laughs> your head out through the windshield, right? I mean, that's not ideal. Get a crate. We showed the crate and Pedro ran away because he thought he was going to Our cat the has PTSD about the crate. Like, he was like, I travel okay, but I'm not going. I don't uh, want to travel. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's make one thing clear. Our cats are fantastic travelers. Once they're in the car, they may be meow for a little bit and then they're great. They yeah. sleep. Sometimes the one likes looking out the window. He's like, ooh. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they the one does get scared when we pull it out. So that's kind of all the stuff I would say leading up to it. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else you can think of? No. That's like all of it. Okay, that's all of it. No. Bye, guys. That's all of it. <laughs> now on to the actual, like, destination to destination. Mm-hmm. So first thing we do is we pack up all of our stuff yep. in the trunk. So all of our stuff gets packed up. Mm-hmm. Then their stuff goes in, like, the middle seat. So we have them in their crate. Yep. They're... Food and water thing is like packed up around there. Yeah. Because we want easy access. Mm hmm. And then their litter boxes, we stack them together. Mm hmm. Which is we another. We get them stuck together. Yeah, we get them stuck a lot. So if you're, yeah, if your litter boxes stack into each other, just make sure you don't leave them like with the litter in it because then it's even harder to get them out. Or and... the, you got to put all the litter on the bottom one and then yeah. you put the empty one on top of that because we made that mistake. Yeah, you can't suction them out. Yeah, and it's... my stepdad, Jim, came to the rescue and helped us separate it, but like he had to bust out tools and stuff. Yeah. So. Okay. And then we put like their litter boxes right next to them as well. And then we even have like a little cat goodie bag that goes in our food bag that we take on road trips that has cat treats and their cat food, a collapsible dish for Mm -hmm. their water. And I think that's it. I think so. We typically, if they're in the car with us, if they're going with us, we're probably not gonna drive more than like 10 to 12 hours. Max. Because we don't usually let them out. They don't have to go to the bathroom. They just kind of sit there. They sleep for most of it. We haven't found that they have to go to the bathroom. They go to the bathroom b- before we leave and after we get there, yeah. but we keep them in there. And that way, if we are staying under 10 to 12 hours, we don't have to worry about, you know, them having to go while they're in there or anything like that. When we first did a road trip with them and we kind of were maxing out that time frame, we would let them out. So we would stop at gas stations. We would put their litter box on the ground yeah. and we would just let them out. But we found that they just weren't using it. And so they're a nightmare to get back into oh, the crate. Because they, they know they got to get back in the they crate. Don't get but back. you don't have a lot of room in the car. Yeah. You can't open a door to <laughs> so like give yourself like, some more room. You're just like all in this. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not, not great. Good. So we, <laughs> yeah, it's not good. After we drive, we kind of shoot for like eight hours though at this point. Yeah. Eight hours is like what we're yeah, shooting that's, for. Yeah, that's our normal. And so then we get to the hotel. We choose cat-friendly hotels. La Quinta is kind of our biggest one on USA road trips just because it's like everywhere and it's a decent price. So you, some, some have a pet fee at this point, but it's usually pretty small. It's like $10 or something yeah. like that. And, most, and a lot of them don't have pet fees too, so. Yeah. And then when we get to the hotel, we grab our book bags that has like our stuff. We just like pack a pack each. And then we bring in the cats, set up their litter boxes, put the litter between the two, put out the collapsible thing, feed them their food, their water. And then they love hotels. Yeah. The very first hotel they ever stayed in, they did not love. 
Paxton had never seen a mirror before because we didn't own a mirror. It's true. And so he just like was confused for like hours and Pedro was terrified and hid under the blanket like mm. the entire the night. night yeah. But now they love hotels. We get to a hotel and they go wild. They like jump on everything. They love mm-hmm. it. They play on everything. Yeah. It's great. And when we're at a job assignment, we stay in rentals. Obviously, they love cats. And they also love rentals. I don't know if they just like switching up i don't know they just like switching it up yeah they're getting more used to it you can hear them they're running around pitter pattering right now actually anything else you can think of like how we road trip or like anything anybody might ask Mm, no i personally think i'm biased because i'm their cat mom i think they are the best behaved cats ever they're pretty good and i think that they do so well with road trips like if you were in the car with us on a road trip you would be so impressed well they would probably be begging to be let out by those people, people. that's true they, they know, know we're, we're not letting them out not. but they would be begging those They'd other be like, people. They'd be like, please. please let us out please you gotta help us so do you think our cats hate the travel life no i think they like exploring different places and seeing different yeah. stuff just like we do i think they like it Pax, tell <laughs> this is so dorky, I'm gonna do it. Pax, will you, will you speak for mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Pax, tell them what you think, tell them what you think about road trips. I love traveling, it's great. Anything, anything else you'd like to share, Pax? Give me food. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh. There you have it. That's how we travel with our cats. We've been doing it for the past five and a half years. Mm-hmm. And it's gone really well. He's doing, he's doing pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to keep doing it. Phil and Kelsey out. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> yeah. I swear our cats love us. <laughs> Liverpool jersey. You got the film and shirt on. Got the film and shirt on. Put it on just for this. We're traveling, man. Uh, okay. <laughs>